if you want to make sixteen thousand dollars, or if you just want to simply two, three, four, five plus X the profits that you make when day trading, this is going to be the little trick that you need for that to actually happen. This is not some BS fluff of me telling you that hey, if you just buy this specific stock, it's going to go to the moon. This is also not some crazy video of me saying you need to trade every single day because most normal traders trade every day. But FYI, most normal traders, you know the stat, 90 plus percent of them fail. So we're not going to be doing that. We're taking as few trades as possible to maximize the biggest amount of money possible. And in order for that to happen, I say let's find the best quality trade, take the trade, and then let's take the next five to seven business days off so you can go do something else. That's how you actually – quote unquote, live the trader life, if you will. So with that being said, if we open up this five minute chart, we're going to just look at just this day here, which is this past Wednesday. And today's the 11th of July for August. So over here, this is what I basically do on a regular basis. So there's blue line going up and down. It represents 9.30 a.m. CST, which is one hour after the market opens. I know most people usually generally would say, hey, once the market opens up, Find a play, find a play, find a play, find a play. I am not doing that. I don't care. I want the trade to come to me, and that's it. And then if it's a good trade, I can hold it long term, and that will be my one trade that I potentially could take. Can I take more? Sure. Do I want to? Not really, right? The, the point of trading is to get good money. The point of trading is not to get a high volume of trades. I don't care, right? You need to uh, – I'll get into that in a second. But 9.30 MCST is this piece. So we have a major supply zone at the top because this is where the highest point is. Before the blue line, top up here at 531.06. Major demand zone at the bottom here, 528.67. We draw that over, basically. And so essentially, once something comes up to tap in this major supply zone, as in this example, and then it pushes down, you can buy what's called an option put. So you'll make money when it goes to the downside. As a result, as you see long term, all it did was just fall down all day. And so if we go to the the one minute chart over here where we'd actually do the entries and exits, I'm basically saying you can enter here because if you're familiar with my strategy, let me zoom in a bit more. We have zone candle, reversal, confirmation, boom entry, falls down, goes sideways a bit, falls down, goes sideways a bit, falls down, goes up and sideways for quite some time. And then this giant yellow area is where potentially you'll sell, right? Because it's still on the downward trend. I'll show you why specifically you can potentially sell here versus anywhere up here, but we have to go step by step, right? So first things first, let's look at where the take profits are so you can understand how to make more money. Because the way to make more money is to have multiple take profits and let them break and let the, the trend break as well. So let's show, we show, you, show you what that means. So the entry piece is up here, of course, right? So take take profit one is VWAP, this little pink line that's going kind of across over here. So that's the take profit one. Take profit two, if we go to the left-hand side, is this little area right here. Draw that over, and it's just a line for this scenario. So these two candles right here where I'm circling is where take profit one is. You draw that over, and that essentially says on the one-minute chart, once you go back over here, it says once it comes down, hits VWAP, you see it kind of bounced up. Fell back down. That's fine. That means it broke through. Take profit one. Then it came down, hit this area, bounced up, kind of had some issues, bounced up, kept going, kept going, kept going, etc. Now, one of the reasons for me I would not have sold here in the first place is because if you actually go to look at it on the five-minute chart, this is where things get interesting. So if you draw, well, draw the line correctly at least, put it right there. So where the candles came up to do the tapping and then fell down, you can basically align this little trend line here with the bottom of the wick or the bottom of the body, but the bottom of the wick of the candle over here and the top of the red candle up here wick wise and drawing it down at a downward angle. And essentially once the trend is broken as far as going above, right? So you can see it went down, went over, almost broke above, but then it fell down. Still didn't even break below this, kept going sideways, broke down further. Then it went up here, broke above a little bit, came back down. Broke above a little bit, came back down. Broke above a little bit. To me, this kind of getting very close, much closer than this, and much longer than over here, right? This signifies, hey, you know what? Maybe it needs to, maybe we should get out early. Maybe we should get out. Seems like we got some profit, that's fine. And keep in mind, I know this might not look like a lot of profit. It's a crap ton of profit. Up here, Stockwise is at 5.30. Down here, it goes to 5.27. It's only $3. But 
if you go to the option, the buy of where that is, same day expiration, right? We're buying up here. If you if any familiar with this at 5:30, this is the strike price of 5:30, same day ex expiration. It costs 1.57, which in layman's terms is basically $157 to buy one contract. You're selling it in this spot in this scenario at 3.22 so 322 dollars is what you're selling it for so you profit that difference of 167 dollars on the option specifically oops pull it over if i can get it back let's go back over here 167 dollars so if you buy 100 contracts which is what i buy fy then times that profit by 100 that means you got profit of $16,700 on one single trade from you visually being correct that directionally it's going down at this specific point in time and that you held it. And that's if you held it to there, right? Like if we break it down further, I didn't want to, this is not even a technical piece before I even get to the other obvious pieces. This is from, so from here to here, 16,000. Let's just say you said, Maurice, there's no way I could do that. That looks horrifying. What if I just sold it halfway? which maybe is about in this area. What is that, 8,000? Who in their right mind is pissed off that they only made $8,000 in a single week from working? We have all these other days, auto zoom out, this is one day, this is Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, the past Friday, Thursday, the other Wednesday. What if you just traded this day and the other days you slept in, you went to do whatever you wanted to do in your free time and you did not quote unquote work? I'm sure you're not pissed off by the 8K. You're out spending that 8K, if not even a little more, if you sold a little bit later. It's fine. That's how trading is supposed to be. You don't need every, you don't need to catch every fish in the pond. Sometimes you need to let the fish repopulate so you can actually go back to fishing. That's fine. So, and FY as well, this really is more for the person that's similar to me from a personality perspective to say that, you're quote unquote lazy when it comes to work because you only like to do the things you want to do in your personal life. So unless I'm alone, I like being lazy so I can be active in my personal life. So let me know in the comment section, are you similar to me? Are you lazy? Yes, no. Let me know about in the comment section by saying I'm lazy too, <laughs> I guess. We have like a little, little lazy thing going on here. But this is the lazy way, uh, lazy person's way to actually trade. It's the simpler way. It's the most efficient way and it's, the most effective way as well, realistically, synonyms or not. So, I mean, there's not much else to really say about it besides the fact that if I go back here, I mean, go ahead and do today. Well, not today. Yeah, that's fine. So with this one on the same day piece, it's very interesting, right? This is what that kind of trend line going down as kind of noted. That's if you sold here. There's a lot of students that have done the one-on-one -on -one coaching that they potentially didn't even sell here because technically it didn't aggressively really break through it, right? It just fell on down still. And you could have maybe sold it here still, but then not really. It still didn't break above it. And you'd probably fix your line more than likely since it broke above that. So you'd be like, okay, well, I guess I got to move it here. And it definitely didn't get close to it at that point. You wouldn't technically sell it down here. And if, here to here 16k then do you really even want to know if so like this is 16 to there so if we duplicate that there to there oh that's another 16k so if we duplicate this exact same size almost to the bottom jesus christ that's 16,000 times three numbers a little too big for me need that your calculator pulling the calculator out times three you all probably can do it i can't it's forty eight thousand dollars $48,000 is sitting here, but you personally think that you need to trade multiple tickers, potentially, with the SPY and Tesla and NVIDIA and um, NASDAQ and the news and all this other stuff. This is potentially, if you could see that this is going down, this is maybe a max of 48, we'll round it to 50, $50,000, but you think more is better. I'm telling you, you're 1,000% wrong. In my recent video before this, FY, this is August 11, 2024, recent video before this, in the past 10 days, I made $60,000 in profit, zero losses, from simple, stupid strategy like this. If you're looking to become a consistently profitable day trader that makes $10,000 per month, then go ahead and visit 
mkuniversity forward slash info to get started. We provide one-on-one -on -one coaching for two months and that way we actually hold your hand and walk you to becoming successful with our specific day trading strategy, which is trading one strategy with one ticker and day trading once per day so you can be successful long term and actually take care of your family. And it doesn't matter where you are, by the way. If you're new to trading or you're an experienced trader already, but you're still just not consistently profitable as a whole, we'll teach you everything from A to Z from the ground up so you can be consistent, so you can be profitable, and more important, you can do the things you wanna do, when you wanna do them, how you wanna do them, and not have to be trading so much because the goal when it comes to trading is to get your life back and to get your finances in order so you can do everything you want to do. And by the way, we already have 1,003 video testimonials from people that are already successful using this strategy that you've been learning in this video. So if you wanna be the next person, you wanna be number 1,004, then go ahead and click the link in the description where it says apply for coaching and you can go ahead and get started. And now back to the video. So if I can do it and I can be lazy and while I'm doing stuff and not, or excuse me, while I'm not doing stuff, I'm just out playing basketball, having fun. If I can do it, you can do the exact same thing. So stop over trading, stop trying to trade everything, stop just jumping in wildly because you feel like every single day if you're not working that you're failing. I'm telling you, if you're not working, that means you're effectively uh, waiting for the correct setup. You're not an employee. This is not an employee's game. This is an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial mindset type of game. And you have to think like that. You have to think like an entrepreneur. You have to think like an investor. You have to think like you don't have to work every day. Think about it before I leave you. A CEO, which is what you are here, you're a CEO of your investor account here, they have people working for them. Or people always say, they're investors, they have my money working for me. The way for you to have your money working for you as a day trader is by you selectively working on very small amounts of days. So that way you're proactively not using and wasting your money on bad quality stuff and you're only waiting and using it effectively on the best quality stuff so make sure you use your money effectively don't just blow your money on wasteful useless things only let quality happen only let good trades happen and if fy if you see this trade and you don't take it because you miss it fine there's always another day and there's always another trade